my name is Chris Lowe. I am um, an associate professor at Hopkins Marine Station, and I will be teaching a course in developmental biology and evolution. What is unique about learning developmental biology at Hopkins is there is a very different type of development. Um, Larvae are things that we think about. When you think of larvae, you might think of a, a caterpillar, or you might think of a frog tadpole as being a larva. They are nothing in comparison to the kinds of diversity that we see in the marine system. My favorite animal is the starfish. As a larva, it looks completely different. So the early development of a starfish has an animal that has a front and a back, a head and a tail, a dorsal and a ventral about how you form different parts of the embryo. How do you form a central nervous system? How do you form muscles? And that process of, of sequential formation of an adult is the process of developmental biology. And a lot of work has been done on what's called model systems. So many people have heard of Drosophila melanogaster, the fruit fly, uh, mouse, uh, zebrafish. These are models that are chosen by um, the developmental biology community um, to address these fundamental questions. The course that I'll be offering will take a slightly different take on developmental biology. What we have at Hopkins Marine Station is something that's very unique, which is that we have this ocean where development is happening every day. But typically, developmental biology doesn't focus on that kind of development. So I'll be teaching a course that, that will, be in, will introduce students to the concepts of developmental biology from model systems, from Drosophila of a mouse, but will expand the focus of the course to incorporate the diversity of the animals that we find in the ocean.